next speaker is the principal of the Vidya High School. Vidya is a yes, some Fijians in the audience. <laughs> Vidya is a small island in the Lao group of Fiji. It has a population of about 1,000 people. It has a flight once a week if you'd like to go for a holiday. It's a beautiful place. Uh, Isikeli is the principal of the school, and as you know, often schools in remote places have difficulty because they don't have access to resources and teachers, and so frequently the results aren't as good as the, the big schools in town. Vidya High School is different. It achieves astounding results in Fiji, and I think that one of the, the reasons behind that is Isikeli's passion. He's also been very instrumental in helping build the structures and the relationships that we've needed to convert and certify the whole of the island as organic. He has a real vision for the future of their very small, very beautiful island. And, as all our other speakers, of course, the high school has an organic farm. The first lady, young global Prime Minister of Samoa, and also chairman of the Pacific High Level Organic Group, distinguished guests, media representatives, participants, Christian leaders, high form, and citizens and gentlemen. It was a little bit uneasy before uh, I came this morning. I was told that uh, I was to pay my presentation last time. Understandably, that uh, it would pose me a lot more challenge. That, uh, in view of uh, the members of the speakers this morning, I thought that uh, I was representing most probably the insignificant group. That, in terms of uh, the group that I represent, perhaps it represents probably the, the smallest. Group of community that is the island that I come from. I'm personally <laughs> excited and dwarfed by the presence of a high level profile personnel at this side of it. And we would more please for this opportunity to contribute at this event <coughs> and to reflect and acknowledge contribution by the iPhone. The art and what called the art and through the Secretary of Civic Community and the, the bus also acknowledge the Ministry of Public Council in Fiji for supporting the Codic Public Council of the island. Given the bus needed uh, support for programs in the Codic Public Council and this initial status of the island. I'm optimistic that organic agriculture on the Vidya Island will continue to provide wide-ranging and promising opportunities for the future with potential for employment, export, tourism, entrepreneurship, while preserving much of the leader, the much of the island's local resources, its culture, its environment, history and beauty. <coughs> This is for the, at this outset, I must acknowledge and thank the Pacific Organic and the Caltech Community, World Corp and the Secretary of the Pacific Community, for the implementation of the organic project on the island, and to organically certify the island as the first in the South Pacific. My parents' uh, presence and contribution at this side event is a testimony of that success story. The island is a very remote island. It is the group of islands in the Fiji group. It has had a, had a long history of sustainable, traditional, organic agricultural production in the absence of uh, agricultural chemicals, together with a strong venture commitment and partnership of its people, it has therefore worked to sustaining this focus. The, so providing what I, my opinion, have formed a very strong base for participatory guarantee system in the Korean. 
The other strong focus of the Gedi Castle was essentially taken. This is because what I consider as a, as a simplicity, accessibility, affordability, and as an opportunity to maximize and sustain agricultural production on a geographically very remote and financially stricken island with challenges for obvious and the livelihood of its community threatened. We therefore had uh, gone on to get a lot of focus in the this uh, organic agriculture. My opinion, it is a move to where we originate from. It is a move where we begin to realize the, the importance and what actually was there at the Garden of Eden. So there's been so much focus on processed food, and I believe it's not more private than or some more had uh, said to us this morning, it's high time that we have to refocus getting back. As I said, it was because of those reasons. The establishment of the island High School which uh, is uh, currently on its stand here has assisted to drive the awareness and instill organic agricultural principles and practices which students should reach different programs and activities. I may be allowed to uh, give the details if there are questions, I may do so. But in view of the fact that are two or two other presenters, I perhaps will uh, <coughs> prefer to answer questions. The engagement of students at the school has continued to provide a platform and opportunity to blend traditional agricultural practices with relevant modern concepts and skills learned and acquired in classroom. And so I believe that guarantees the sustainability of organic agriculture for the island. Eventually, these students will someday go back to their villages and it's a matter of them spreading what they have learned locally that will assist to consolidate and sustain organic agriculture in their villages. This is for the standard, but in one of the views, and even school children, it's possibly what organic agricultural initiatives and environmental sustainability activities. <coughs> Civil services involving women are also undertaken with the temporary version coconut oil production centers established in each of the five villages of the island, <coughs> boosting healthy financial and social policy in our island community. All are currently operational under the Islands Organic Committee, made up of selected and trusted members forming what we call as a monitoring agency. Other economic activities have blossomed since and are being undertaken to supplement virgin coconut oil production on being proposed to focus with emphasis on improved utilization, uh, utilization of value and the tasks of local resources and women economic activities and reviving and maintaining traditional handicraft making. However, the strengthening of the overall capacity of women's groups to produce quality virgin coconut oil to be able to compete in the market is still pursued as a priority. Again, I must acknowledge our support agencies through SBC and the Fiji's Ministry of Agriculture for collaboratively working with us. I must also point out that uh, I do not pretend to voice what I have said as uh, an official delegate of uh, Fiji and uh, I, I believe I do not also have the mandate to be able to do that. But being from Fiji, I hope that uh, for the comments that I will make, I would apologize if uh, it does uh, encroach into the areas that they 
recover uh, in Fiji. It is obvious uh, that the most suppressing challenges mm -hmm. on the island, OBCO producers and the small island organic monitoring agency, uh, are the following. One, the absence of proper production centers with uh, proper uh, mechanical implemented tools to enhance production together with uh, number two, the high transportation costs of virgin oil and other organic commodities <coughs> to the markets of the island and to dispense points for offshore and overseas markets. Another challenge that uh, we continue to face is high cost of uh, sea freight. And uh, because we are more at uh, uh, the beginning of uh, this uh, organic program, <coughs> I believe it will take time before we are able to arrest all this and get to come up with uh, some reasonable uh, forms to be able to work out these challenges. What I also would need to perhaps uh, mention is uh, we also need uh, at this stage, we need the support to the island's only institution of organic, and that is the school. I personally believe, after some uh, careful thoughts, I have also <coughs> realized that uh, at this, uh, most of these side events, that we're here and we're talking about issues up at a higher level. And I'm, uh, uh, and I'm proposing that we have to try time to be able to consolidate the thoughts about getting agriculture that we really have to build down, write down to students in the school, not only in the secondary school, but perhaps to the primary level. That way, I believe, there is a need for our leaders to be able to make an assessment and uh, get to work with the policies so that we can accommodate 